Today we're going to do a quick experiment to see if body filler sticks better to properly prepared bare metal, epoxy primer, or both. On this side we have a piece of metal that was DA sanded with 220 and primed with epoxy primer. On this side we have a piece of metal that was ground clean with a 36 grit fiber resin disc and they were sandwiched together with filler. And let me show you real quick how that was done. This one has the epoxy primer and this one's ground clean. And we'll put a tight coat on each. And then we'll put a nice thick coat on. glue or bondo them together. And we'll let that dry. So let's pull them apart and see what happens. A real up close shot reveals that the filler stayed on the bare metal side and came off of the epoxy side. And the epoxy actually separated. And let me show you that. Here's a shot of what actually happened. This is the original epoxy that was sprayed on right there. And this is epoxy that was pulled off of this. So the epoxy split. It actually came apart, separated. And this is all of the filler and there's really no filler left on this except for this edge. In one last experiment both sides or both plates were ground to clean bare metal and you'll see that it takes quite a bit more force to pull them apart. Proving actually that filler on properly prepared bare metal is probably the best way to go. Here's what the ends look like after that, and you can see that the adhesion to the bare metal was so good that the body filler actually split apart. I hope this video helps you make an informed decision on the best way to apply filler. And if it did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.